I am very happy to present you this time a tutorial on architecture visualization by Armir Shapelo and Dimitrios Kalamis from the Foreman, Architecter on Digital Kunst, based in Munich, Germany. They described their work for a competition which was actually published several times. Interesting is the fact that they worked with a quite simple 3D model and put in more effort in the post-production with Photoshop which gave them a lot of flexibility as they describe. Background and architectural idea we would like to present you in this tutorial the most important steps to create your digital visualization of the Pilgrim Tower. Here we want to set the focus rather on the creative and artistic approach than on the technical know-how. The work was created for an international creative competition on built visions where the act of pilgrimage should be expressed in an architectural concept. Obviously the project is influenced by a philosophical idea and borders on utopia. The following examples of architecture influenced our creative design process. We looked for landscape photos and mystic locations. We decided at the very beginning that the final image most important element will be the tower, the landscape and the people. To develop a sculptural idea of pilgrimage we collected a lot of images and photos which should stand for the atmosphere to support our creative process. The painting La Tour de Babel from Joost II de Momper, 17th century, inspired us the most starting from the early design process all the way to the final images, Joost II de Momper, 1564-1635, Kel, http colon slash slash commons.wikimedia.org slash wiki slash file. Joost. De Momper underscore underscore la underscore tour underscore de. Babel. JPG Simple Modeling in Rhino 3D We decided to use Rhino 3D for the modeling process because the tool offers a lot of flexibility when it comes to creating free and creative shapes and forms. We concentrated here on the building fascade, construction and the ramps as vertical connections. The definition of the perspective view is quite important for the final image. Most of the time 3D artists concentrate on modeling directly with one main perspective view in mind, which is a limitation when it comes to pick a proper view at the end. We prefer to directly model the building completely to be flexible in the later project stages. Rendering with Cinema 4D and Brie after modeling the building in Rhino 3D we use for the next phases, the visualization, Cinema 4D in combination with the render engine Brie. The following screenshots show the most relevant render settings which were defined in Cinema 4D and Brie. As you can see the settings are quite basic. We try to keep it as simple as possible when it comes to architectural visualizations for competition simply due to the lack of time. Flexibility by rendering building elements separately we chose to render the different parts of the building separately with alpha channel and merge them later in Photoshop. This gave us a lot of flexibility to change the look of the image in Photoshop without any additional work. Merging building layer in Photoshop we put together the single renderings in Photoshop by using the eraser and different kind of brushes. We also played around with the opacity of the layers to test the look of the image. We found that this was a very effective way of the design process because you got instant results. Testing materials with the help of Photoshop we still had a key problem. The material of the tower. Based on our design process we thought on some kind of mud-walled architecture, but it would have been too time-consuming to render all the images again. So we decided to change the color and overall look in Photoshop. This was really helpful because you have a lot of flexibility in Photoshop to test and find the best color. Obviously you have more options when it comes to materials, textures, reflections and light settings, but for our kind of building and visualization this approach in Photoshop was perfect. Merging architecture with landscape The location is a very important element of the complete idea and should support the sculptural character of the tower. It was hard for us to find good background images online that stood for the landscape we had in our mind. Luckily one of our friends, a photographer, supported us with some great photos he took in Albania. We only had to change minor things and recognize that these images support our idea perfectly. Big thanks therefore to Henry Kanja www.inrakanaj.com to place the tower on the right side of the image was a very conscious decision. The human eye is used to look from the left to the right side in our culture area. 
If an object is located at the right side it will be seen as more important which results in a more harmonious image. Now we had the tower and the landscape which was a key element as well. The only missing part were the pilgrims. We found quite a lot of good images that could be used for our images so we used these to merge it with our scenery. With all the different kind of people the image supports a feeling of cultural diversity. We added several more effects with the clouded sky, the mountain top, the foggy city and the blurred rotation of a crowd at the bottom of the tower. We tried to create a human landscape in front of the tower in combination with a surreal atmosphere. For the final image we only made some adjustments regarding color, contrast, saturation etc. Here you see two images that give a detailed look.